Hey, what's going on? It's Stranger, and welcome to another YouTube music production video, where my mission is to help you succeed in making music. In today's video, we're going to be doing the bass sound in the classic drum and bass track, Cloaking Device, by DJ Crust. Now, DJ Crust is a legendary drum and bass producer that has brought many classics, including Jazz Note and Warhead. He's also part of the Full Cycle crew, which includes legendary Ronnie Size, DJ Die, and DJ Sub. And together, they pioneered what's called the Bristol Sound, which is often characterized by raw breakbeats, analog sounding bass lines, and bits and pieces of jazz and soul. But comment down below and let me know what is your favorite Bristol drum and bass track. And by the way, I just got a new upvote system where you can request topics as well as upvote topics. And I'll be doing my best to fulfill the top topics. So make sure you check it out in the link below and vote and add your favorite requests. And hey, just a reminder to hit the like button, subscribe and share. Really appreciate your help. Okay, without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so the main top base of Cloaking Device is a square wave with some FM synthesis to make it sound a little more nasally. So go into oscillator A, let's select basic shapes and just make sure we're at the square shape. Then let's activate oscillator B and this will be used for FM synthesis. So bring the level all the way down. We don't need to hear it but it is gonna be set to a sine wave. Then back into oscillator A, let's set the warp mode to FM from B, and then increase the amount. I say around 40%, but you can play around and experiment. Now increase the octave of oscillator B to two, so that you get that nasally sound. And then let's increase the unison mode, I say anywhere three and up on oscillator A. I'm gonna choose six. And then we're gonna send this all to a low pass filter. So enable the filter and I'm gonna use low pass 24. Now let's bring the filter cutoff down so we shave off those high frequencies. Say around there. And then we're gonna be using envelope two to modulate the filter cutoff. Now the first thing is let's set up envelope two. So let's bring the sustain all the way down. Now the actual bass note of cloaking device is an eighth note. So using the decay, we're gonna set this to one eighth. And automatically Serum will calculate how long in terms of milliseconds that is based on your tempo. Now this lock function will just zoom in to your envelope. So that's a handy tip. Now assign envelope two to the filter cutoff. And then you can adjust the amount if you like. You can bring it down a bit so it's not as sharp. And let's pop over to the effects section, turn on the distortion, and let's increase the drive just a little bit. And then assign envelope two to the drive and just bring the mount down. We just want a little bit of increased drive on the tack of that bass. That sounds good. Now let's use the EQ and shave off that bottom end using a high pass. Just bring that resonance down that tends to pop up those low mids and we don't want to do that. So bring down that Q. Now one of the key things of the cloaking device bass is that it modulates the volumes of different notes to emulate a delay, kind of like an echo. So to do this, we're gonna be using the velocity to fluctuate the volume. So just make sure in the modulation matrix that we have velocity set to your global amp. And we're gonna bring the amount up to 99%. The reason why we want it just under 100% is we don't want the volume to go all the way down to zero. Now I'm hitting my keys at varying velocities, but it's not actually affecting the volume. So to make it actually affect the volume, we gotta change the polarity of the velocity. And to do this, we click on type and we get this bipolar mode. And what this means is if you notice on the bottom right here, we have this velocity graph. 
So at normal velocity, you would be at center. But if you hit harder, then it goes up the graph, so it's plays, playing louder. Or if you play it real, really quietly, then it's below that center point. So that's why we need this setting at bipolar mode, because we want the velocity to range across this line. Okay, so this is the main top base of cloaking device. So we're going to hop into the MIDI and work on the notes. To write the cloaking device base, we're going to be using an F note and we're going to be going up the scale chromatically so we get that rising bass sound. And we're just going to be writing one note at a time. So it's like this. Like that. Now that's the main groove of the cloaking device bass. But one of the interesting things that DJ Crust does is he duplicates the notes and he ducks the first note. So to do this, we're gonna select all the notes and then hold command or control and click and drag. So you duplicate the notes. And then we're gonna select the first note of each group. And using the velocity, we're gonna duck it down like this. Now you're gonna have to use your ear to find what is the right setting, but around there should work. You can adjust it to taste if it doesn't sound ducked enough so you can bring it lo even lower. So you may notice some gaps in our pattern. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill those gaps with notes, but we're gonna bring the velocity even further down. So it sounds like a delay. So we're gonna bring this velocity all the way down. You can bring it down to around, I'd say around 10. And again, we're just filling up the notes by repeating the preceding note like that. So that's the top base of cloaking device. Now there is a sub base underneath, but we're not gonna go in too much detail on how we made this because I've done it in previous videos. But what I'm doing is I'm using a square wave and I'm filtering all the top end so we get that sub. Again, it's following that basic pattern that we initially wrote. So you play that together with the sub bass, then you have this. Now playing the sequence, I'm noticing that the filter's a bit too closed off. And sometimes this happens while designing sounds, you have to tweak it going back into the synth. So let's go back into Serum and let's play with the settings a little. So what I would recommend is to play around with the cutoff as well as the decay time of your envelope because that will determine how tight this bass sounds. So right now the way we have it sound is more like a knocking bass. So for those looking for that knocking bass, it's really the same process. It's just different settings with your cutoff and your envelope. So let's play with the uh, decay time and increase it. Okay, so that sounded closer. Now let's play with the cutoff. Okay, that's sounding much closer. We could also play with increasing or decreasing the drive and this is up to you. Okay, that's sounding closer to me now. So I have this aim and break here based on the cloaking device pattern. Okay, so let's hear it all together. Now, once you learn the concept, then let's take the sound a little bit further. And there's some parameters that you can play around with to make it your own. So let's first turn off the FM from B and disable oscillator B. And what I found is there are some key waveforms that will create some nice sounds with this concept. So scream I found was a good one. So you can bring the octave down.
and then play with the wavetable position to find sounds that you would like. And then to really change it up, I found some of these waveforms sound really interesting, like the evolution. You can increase the unison mode to make it sound even fatter. The boosty one had some interesting effects. Crush Wub was another interesting one. Let me bring that sub back so we can hear it in context. So a lot of interesting sounds that you can do with this concept. So really encourage you guys to experiment and play with different waveforms and find new sounds with this concept that cloaking device was based on. And of course, how could I not remix this? So here's one idea where I've drawn out the melody a little bit. And then I changed up the Amen pattern. So here it is all together. And here's another variation of a remix with a different kind of melody. So the melody kind of ascends and then descends, and then I have a different kind of amen beat to go with it. Here it is all together. And then I tried out another remix of the slower tempo and I have the Africa Bombada beat here. So let's hear it all together. So something a little funkier, one out for the breakbeat heads. Let me know down in the comments, which remix did you like most? Now, just one thing I want to mention about the sound design. You might ask why we didn't just add a delay onto the mid bass as opposed to manually drawing into notes. The reason is that with the manual drawing in of the notes, we have a little more control with how the delay is drawn out and how the delay tail bleeds into the next note. When you add a straight delay onto the mid bass, you may get some bleed from the preceding note into the next note. Just so you can hear, here's the mid bass with a regular delay. So notice I haven't drawn in the notes in between. We just have the main notes. And just as a comparison, here it is with the manual delay drawn out. So notice how it's a little bit cleaner and surgical with the old school method of drawing in your delay notes, as opposed to when you actually add a delay effect to your mid bass. So really different approach and depends on how you want your mid bass to sound. There's nothing wrong with either methods. It's really up to you as an artist. So just so you can hear, here it is with an actual delay effect with the drums. And here it is with the manual delay. So notice the difference. Also with the manual delay method, we can actually duck the first notes. So you got that ducking effect. So a lot more control in terms of how you can make this bass sound. So I encourage you guys to try both methods. All right, so that was my take on how you make the cloaking device bass and shouts out to DJ Crust who created this anthem. And I really encourage you guys to get this process down. As you can see, you really can use it and make your own styles of bass with these concepts. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys found it helpful. And that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. 
keep practicing. I'll see you at the next video.